how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so we are now in 2019 as you can see. I have a lovely, lovely, lovely new calendar from only one this year. I didn't get a second one for Christmas, so the one that I bought for my vlog stuff, uh, which is what I was using it for last year, is now the only one that I have, so all my personal stuff is now on it as well, which is probably a good thing that you guys have never really been able to see what's on here particularly well, just because of the lighting and the setup. <laughs> so you don't know when all my relatives and friends have their birthdays, <laughs> which is most of the information which is in this calendar, um, alongside all the vloggy information. Um, and dates of birth and, and of birthdays for characters from the Never Aten series as well, because I'm weird and why not? <laughs> okay, so I said at the end of the last one that the first one of the new, the first vlog of the new year was going to be a fan creation one just because I didn't have the calendar at that point in time and I just needed something that I was going to be able to remember. Uh, so I'm going to stick with the plan and this is going to be a fan creations one. Um, and sort of in the vein of some of my more recent fan creations one, it's more going to be on a theme um, than necessarily talking about specific things. Um, and the theme of this one is so yeah, I've been tossing up between whether it should be food and whether it should be musicals because uh, I can probably talk <laughs> for about the same amount of time about both of those things. Um, and I can always do the other one in another bad creation somewhere down the, down the road. Um, I think <clears throat> I think I might go for musicals. That seems like a more sensible option. <laughs> So any of you who have followed most of my vlogs probably be aware of the fact that um, I enjoy singing, I like singing. Um, I've not actually done any singing on this channel, but anyone who knows where to find my personal channel <laughs> will know that I've done some singing on there. Um, find that at your own risk, your own pleasure, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm okay singer, so... It's not, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world, but I also know that I really like the sound of my singing voice, so it may also not be the best thing in the world. Depends on which category you fall into. <laughs> um, I mean, part of the reason that I do uh, love musicals so much is because A, I've come from a fairly musical family. My dad plays an instrument um, and was in, and is still in amateur bands. Um, so, you know, I used to go watch him play, but this isn't about music in general, this is supposed to be about musicals, and my love of musicals very much came from um, one of my grandmothers. Um, so, like everybody I had growing up to grandmothers, um, one of which I lived with my granddad, and I only saw, you know, when we went out to, to visit them, or for holidays, or various day trips and, and stuff like that. Um, and the, the other one, after she had a fairly serious series of strokes when I was five, six-ish, um, she, well, we moved twice so that she could live with us. We, we essentially sold the house that we were living in and moved into what was her house. Um, and then we sold that so that we could afford to buy the, the place where I would eventually go on to spend most of my childhood and, and, and grow up um, so that we could essentially look after her because um, because of the the uh, disabilities that she um I don't know how to put this that she gained from the stroke that doesn't sound quite right um the stroke had left her with certain disabilities and communication problems and she was paralyzed on that right hand side of her body let's <laughs> try to remember which side it was um so, you know, she, she wasn't as mobile as she used to be, she, you know, she needed help with, with certain things and she couldn't communicate um, quite as well as she used to, but she still loved 
musicals. Um, very much love musicals and one of the things that me and my younger brother used to do quite a lot um, at the weekends would we would go in and we would watch one of her musicals with her because um, she had some, quite a few of them on VHS um, on back when it was VHS <laughs> back, back before DVDs <laughs> it was a much simpler time when I was growing up <laughs> um Anyway, we would go in and we would, you know, I, I, a lot of the time it would end up just being me because my own brother was more social than I was and when he became old enough to sort of go out and uh, hang out with his friends with, you know, without necessarily having to come back and check in every five minutes, like, you know, I suppose. Um, but it would quite often just be me sort of sat there and watching them and we would quite often watch the same ones <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> um... And she really loved it. She would always like hum along to the to the to songs, even though she couldn't like necessarily sing. Um, and you know, music was something that was always, you know, music and songs was something that was always really, really um, important to her. And she loved musicals. And I kind of learned to love musicals because she loved loved them so much. And you know, it's, it's a lot of my fondest memories growing up was. You know, sitting in there and watching musicals with her. Um, so I kind of now, as an adult, have a slight bias towards films that are musicals, whether they're jukebox musicals or original musicals or whatever they are. They're, they're something, you know, even like TV episodes, that are the musical episodes, you know, the ones I'm talking about. Um, there's something about them that just captures me um, and captivates me. And, um, and I think it's because I have that slight nostalgic feeling towards me because, you know, the, the idea of, of using music and song to, to tell a story and to convey certain emotions and, and whatever else, it's just, there's something so appealing about that. And yeah, I think it very much sort of stems from those afternoons, those weekends, uh, spend you know spending time with my with my grandmother and yeah. <laughs> um, so growing up, and I know it's not a particularly well thought of musical, but um, one of my favourites was always Cats, um, and I know one of my grandmother's favourites was The Sound of Music and much more as an adult now, it's kind of become more one of my favourites as well, just as a, just as a sort of a, a good way of remembering her. So, you know, if, if I sort of hear any of those songs from, from the sound of music, that, you know, that's instantly who I, who I sort of think of, because um, it was definitely one of her favourites, so it was definitely one of the ones we watched quite a lot. Um, and yeah, there, there is something about, you know, <laughs> I love it. I love it when my brain just decides that it doesn't quite know where it's going or something. Um, I mean, I, I think what it is, is uh, like that episode in the, the musical episode of Buffy, um, where songs are very much used to express what you're feeling and uh, progress the plot a little bit and, and stuff like that. I think, you know, a, a part of me is kind of like, yeah, a world like that would be would be really great and really awesome. Um, and then on the flip side of that, um, I know there's an episode of Cracked that I watched, um, the, one of their after hours, uh, where they're sort of talking about how horrible it would be to be living in a musical <laughs> or something. <laughs> Just because, you know, you wouldn't necessarily be, you know, the, the lead person and, you know, whatever else. Um, but yeah, the, like in the same way that anybody who's watched any of my, um, any of my previous vlogs will know that I would love to, to live in a world filled with magic. I would also love to live in a world filled with music. <laughs> and I know we kind of do, but in that sort of, you know, where it's not weird to sort of go along in the middle of the street, sort of singing out your emotions, um, just singing in, in general. And I do. I'm one of those people who I'll have my headphones on and I'll walk along and I'll be singing um, just because, you know, I'm 
just almost free-spirited enough to kind of get away with it without being too self-conscious <laughs> most of the time I mean you know and then occasionally I'm a little bit more aware of my surroundings and, and whatever else but you know most, most of the time just about not selfish self-conscious enough to um worry too much <laughs> she says and I think yeah as again I think that's the thing that kind of appeals to me about musicals is the fact that whether you consider it to be diegetic or non-diegetic, um, you know the the songs and the music. There's something about there's something about it, and a lot of the shows or cartoons in particular that I'm that I gravitate towards now as an adult tend to have a lot of random songs sort of thrown in here, there, and everything. There. And and that's you know that's that's kind of what appeals to me. Um, that sort of musical side of life, that sort of musicality of life, and yeah, um, <laughs> this this one was a little bit more all over the place than I thought it would be. Maybe I should have gone for food. Maybe food would have been a little bit easier. Um, should we try that? <laughs> so, food. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a foodie person per se. Um, but, you know, if you, you stick a bar of chocolate in front of me, I'll probably be happy. As long as it's not mint chocolate. Mint chocolate is gross. <laughs> but chocolate is most definitely my favourite kind of food. Um, <clears throat> and I inherited that from my mother. My mother's a chocolate and I'm also a chocolate And I have no shame in being a chocolate because I managed to lose four and a half stone without giving up chocolate. So... <laughs> Good luck in ever, ever getting me to give up chocolate. It's just... <laughs> so when I'm not stuffing my face with chocolate. <laughs> um, as I said, I'm not particularly a, a foodie sort of person. Um, I'm definitely someone who, there are certain things I, I definitely enjoy eating a lot more than other things. Um, so, well, what things do I prefer eating? Well, because a lot of the cooking that I do at home is just whatever's easiest. Because when I come home from a long day at work, I don't necessarily have the energy to, to cook myself. I live on my own, so nobody else is going to cook for me. So, so a lot of what I eat ends up being just shove in the oven kind of kind of stuff. Um, so I guess a lot of my favourite stuff actually ends up being the sweets and the treats and the stuff like that, the stuff that you have outside of the meal, because my idea of meal is just whatever's easiest. So when I sort of talk about my favourite foods, I'm going to be talking about like the, the chocolates that I like. Um, I'm definitely more of a Cadbury's person than anything else. I think they get the, the taste balance right. However, said having said that, my favourite kind of chocolate at the moment is... Um, one of one of Aldi's um, own brand ones. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just it's just nice, and it's not like even like a solid chocolate thing. So like a chocolate thing with like a, a filling. Apart from like they they do one of the ones I I getting from them is like chocolate with white chocolate inside, and that's really nice. <laughs> um, but like the other two are like like not you know solid chocolate things, but um yeah and in, in, in general terms Cadbury's is, is probably is probably a safe bet um and again I'm one of those people if I walk in to somewhere and I see like a new bar of chocolate um unless it's some, like unless it's like a combination of flavors that I know I definitely won't like I'm always willing to try it like if it's like a mint chocolate type thing then yeah. um if it's an Oreo type thing then again yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, of Oreo <laughs> just in case you're wondering. And again, it's not like I don't like mint, I just don't like mint mixed with anything. Um, it's one of those weird things because I actually quite like the taste of mint. Um, I find it's like one of those things that, you know, maybe after a meal, I mean, I'm, I'm drinking peppermint teas at the moment, um, just like one a day, but, you know, even so, it's not the, the taste of mint itself that I dislike. It's I don't like how it makes everything else slightly bitter, and I don't like bitter. If, you, if you're going to do food for me, it has to be sweet. <laughs> and maybe, maybe coaching chocolate. But then it has to be not too sweet, because I don't do too sweet either. Um, by too sweet, I mean like, 
I'm sure most people know what I mean when I say too sweet, but that sort of very sickly kind of sweet, oh, I don't like that. Um, and that kind of sweet, that kind of makes your, your teeth hurt. It's like, I don't like, um, there's a particular kind of sponge that I don't like because I find that's too sweet. And there's a particular kind of ice cream that I don't like because I find that's too sweet. Um, and quite often those things go together as well. So I, I can avoid it pretty easily. It's like the, when, when I sort of talk about the sponge, I mean like the, the sponge that is used for like, uh, what are they called? You know, where you've got like the cream and the jam and they're like rolled. That, that kind of sponge, the sponge that you can roll. <laughs> I find that sponge is far too sweet. And then the icing that I don't like is the icing that you very much tend to get on uh, the store-bought cakes, that sort of very thick kind of icing. Um, I just find it too sweet. It's not necessarily that I don't like royal icing. I like royal icing. It's just, this isn't quite royal icing. I don't know quite what kind of icing it is. It's just too sweet. Um, so yeah, it has to be sweet, but not too sweet. <laughs> and I've recently discovered that, you know, my favourite kind of popcorn is probably salt and, um, salt and sweet. Salt, the, the, you know, the kind where it's both salty and sweet. Um, that like kind of mixed popcorn and that kind of gets the balance right for me, where it's not too sweet, it's not too salty, it's just right. Um, this, this has ended up being a really weird fan relation, but I kind of stumbled over the whole musical stuff. <laughs> And then have randomly gone oh, on to a tangent about food. Um, I'm not quite sure this is quite where I was going with things. But oh well, it's the first vlog of the year. And I'm allowed to be a little bit all over the place because obviously I've just gotten through the holiday season, um, which, was, which was a lot of fun and a lot of food was had. Um, not necessarily a lot of musicals were watched because. I was all here, there and there, everywhere over Christmas, but there's certainly a lot of food that's had, and it was all, for the most part, very nice food. <laughs> I was also done a lot of working, um, because unfortunately the, the, the day job is the one that I can take time off for over Christmas. Um, but it was, it was alright. I'm used to it, I'm not, you know, not too bothered about working over Christmas. Okay, so... With this little bit of all over the place fan flu ish, -ish fan flu ish ish, can't quite get that right. <laughs> anyway, with this one, I think just about covered. I know it's been a little bit all over the place. Um, I think I should let you guys know where we're going next week, and in the vein of what I was talking about at the at the end of last year. I'd like this year to start talking about things which aren't necessarily to do with my writing. Um, so next week's topic is going to be talking about having a day job. I'm not necessarily going to talk about my specific day job. We'll see how that kind of goes. I know I have to sort of be a little bit careful. Not that, I mean, I like my job, so... But at the same time, I know I'm going to be a little bit careful. Um, but, you know, in, in the vein of doing something a bit different this year and, and talking more and, and sort of talking more generally about things, next week's is going to be about having a day job <laughs> and whatever that shall entail. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys have found this one exactly as it has been, a little bit rambly and all over the place and a bit of a mess because Welcome to 2019. <laughs> um, and I hope you are kind of looking forward to the next one and seeing where I'm going with this whole slightly new direction for the channel. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.